Welcome! Today I will tell you why I think Operation Blood Orchid will be even later than the September 5th date Ubisoft set. So Ubisoft yesterday came with big news that Operation Blood Orchid will be one week late. But I think we'll be forced to wait even longer than that. So if we go back to the root of the problem. The whole plan have all the time been to release two new operators, one new map every quarter. So that's roughly around every 91st day. And in between that, we should have a mid-season reinforcement to clear out any bugs. This is what Ubisoft sold their season passes on, so the 9th of May we should have had two new operators and a new map. But on the 11th May they released the news that they, the Polish operation would be cancelled and replaced by the bug fixing Operation Health. So then if they would have stuck to the plan with one DLC every quarter, even with the cancelled DLC, the new Hong Kong DLC should have landed roughly somewhere around August 8. But again, they took a step away from this and gave us a release date on August 29th, a full three weeks later than if they kept the temp of one DLC every quarter. Now that they, once again, just before launch, go out with information that the release date will be pushed forward, I have a hard time believing them when they say September 5th is the actual date this will go live. Why? Well, first off, it will not be the first time they can hold the deadline, if I put it that way. But there are two things that make me think that we will not see this new operation go live November 5th. First, they will release the new Operation Blood Orchid on the technical test servers on August 29. That's obviously to try to clear bugs from it, but I feel like 7 days to both find the bugs, get them reported, fix them and get this deployed in a live version of the game. To do all of that in 7 days, I feel it's extremely optimistic. I have a feeling that if they run into any bigger bug during the test period, the live release will be pushed back even more. And Ubisoft, they don't have a good track record on Rainbow Six Siege right now when it comes to DLC operators and bugs. The two last DLC releases was overshadowed with bugs that they brought with them. Hibana was released in November 2016 and first now on Operation Health, a full 9 months later have pellets work like they should. And I also guess you all remember how Mira's Windows was when the Velvet Shell DLC was released. You could just straight walk up to them and meal them from the outside to open them. The second reason why I think we will see an even bigger pushback on the date is because Ubisoft themselves doesn't even believe in it. If you read the official Rainbow Six Siege website, they write the live deployment will take place on September 5th. But if you go to the official Ubisoft blog, they simply write Operation Blood Orchid is targeting a September 5th release. That blog post was posted yesterday on the official Ubisoft blog. I put the links in the description if you want to see them for yourself, but I for one is not that super optimistic about the release on September 5th. But I would love to be wrong. And just as many others said, I rather had a bug free version and wait one extra week. But the fact that on September 5th there have been 210 days without a DLC, I sure hope they get it live and I sure hope it will be out any bugs. And to be honest, I can't really understand why we are at this point now. Because Ubisoft as a company is doing fantastic. In their latest earning report, all numbers pointed upwards. Sales were up, earnings were up, digital sales were up. And if you read their earnings report, it even says that they now are the number one publisher worldwide in terms of physical and digital game sales. So what's the problem? And at the same time in that earnings report, Ubisoft CEO he brags about success of the Tom Clancy community and how their live games, so to say, that you continue to play that's constantly updated, like Siege, is growing and it's a fantastic business for them. So why are they treating it this way when that's the thing they brag about in their earnings report? They have the money to invest in more servers, they have the money to invest in more developers, they have the money to make this game work. But I think something positive can come from this situation. The team around Rainbow Six and Ubisoft as a whole, they see that the Rainbow Six Siege community is outraged with first cancelling the DLC, the Polish DLC, then pushing forward the Hong Kong even more and with all the bugs that have been. So I personally think that they will add more people to the team, they will continue to work even harder on Rainbow Six Siege because Siege is a fantastic business for them right now. 
and with the alpha packs and the older skins that are coming to the games they will continue to make good money just look at how CSGO for example makes tons of money on skins if you want to know more about operation blood or shit don't forget to watch my two videos I have one where I break down how the new operators will change the met of the game and one where I break down the new map and all the rooms and layout and how I think that map will be played and I will be back this weekend with more videos from the Pro League Finals. So please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you don't already do. And I will see you this weekend.